And finally, just as we were coming here, I went on your website and you dated someone kind of infamous in the past. <laughs> Who's Lucas? Lucas? Yeah. What that? Yeah. No, well, I don't really have, um, you know, I can't really talk about that anymore. Why not? I'm curious. I forgot, I even know until like, a, like an hour before I came to see you. Mm. Is that a weird part of your life? Is it not mm. a good relationship? The, 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 the real truth of the matter is, is I suppose, this. Um, mm. Do you know why I'm... I can't talk about it. Was it a part of your life that you're not interested in exploring anymore? It was really, I guess because maybe what Luca did is so horrible. I can't. It's just so hard to make people understand that it was three weeks of my life wasn't really that big a deal. And um, he was interesting. And um, uh, yeah. I never went, uh, yeah, so that, I don't know, is, the, is that, does that answer the question? I don't know, I mean, I, I personally, I'll be honest with you. He was I my li- lover, he was my lover, mm-hmm. yeah. I have had, I think everyone knows this, because I wrote about it back in Fab Magazine in 2005, is I do have a tendency to fall in love with violent men over and over, that's mm-hmm. what I've done. Um, in terms of Luca, um, do you know, I guess he turned out to be very, very, he did turn out to be very, very violent. But um, um, I don't really fall in love with every man that's violent. It was more, like to me, Luca was like three weeks. It was my lover. But um, for me, that was, I don't have any shame about it. But it was a very small part of my life. Yeah, it was a very, very small part of my life, which is not to say that I haven't repeatedly chosen violent men to date, but if I let them hang around, I'd choose much, much fiercer one than Luca. I was just like not smart enough in the end. Because people wanted to interview me about Luca, and uh, I mean, my whole interest was to go on television and talk about narcissism, Mm -hmm. to sort of speak as a cultural critic. Mm -hmm. Um, to bring my intellectualism to the, the idea. And um, um, uh, down in the States at Headline News and stuff, they really, really were into that, wanted me to be very smart about it. And Bruce LaBruce and I did something for Vice Magazine about it. Um, but um, unfortunately in the straight media, they, it's so weird because in the straight media, they don't understand the word lover. So when, 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 I, when they'd be like, what was your relationship with him? I'd be like, he was my lover. Then they always put on television that I was his girlfriend. And then I think he probably called me his girlfriend three times. I've got a photographic memory, so I, I do remember everything. Um, he probably called me his girlfriend three times, but for me, he was m- more than a trick, but not quite a boyfriend. Yeah. yeah, so it wasn't really that that big a deal for me, um, mainly because he was such a liar. I didn't like that, and um, you know, you can't have two narcissists in one relationship because it it didn't it didn't work that way. So normally I find <laughs> normally I find a man who's like it hits me, but he's more like a closer to a sociopath but not the sociopath that actually kills people, more just a real cold-hearted guy, and then I, I gotta fucking work my way into their hearts somehow. And that's, um, that's what works for me usually, yeah. I'm not, I mean, yeah. I was not surprised to find out one of my exes was caught for killing someone. I just didn't think it was gonna be Luca, because I, I never thought he was a real sociopath. I thought he was a narcissist. And so, yes, yeah, so I was not surprised. I was waiting for something like that. To, not waiting, 
but I, I was not surprised that that happened. I just didn't think it was going to be Luca. 